You worked super hard. You tried everything that was possible in your hands, and yet you messed up. And your friends, parents, family, everybody wants you to move on, but you don't want to move on yet. But you have a plan, a plan to flip things in your favor, and a plan to undo every mistake that you've made in the last one year. The question is, are you ready to fight? Dropping a year is one of the scariest things to do because you see your friends move on to college and you're still stagnant, sitting in the same place where you were in the last year, or even moving to scarier places like Kota and other places like Andhra. So, what should you do in this case? This is what we're going to be talking about in this video here today. If you're new here, my name is Hari, and I'm a recent graduate from Bits Pilani. Let's just get started with the video. The first question you need to ask yourself is, do you feel burnt out? Even if you feel burnt out, I'm going to tell you, just pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep moving on, and keep hustling hard, because you have only six months left, at max five to six months left before your first round of JE means, and post that. You will be in a pressure mode trying to do test series and do mock tests where you'll be preparing for a second attempt of J means. And post that within a month, you'll have your J advance and you'll have your bits at slightly post that or before that. So you have absolutely no time to rest. If you want to rest, rest at the end and rest not at the middle. So only if you have the mindset that I am not going to rest until the next one year completes, only then take part in this journey which is going forward, which is you're taking a drop year. If you feel burnt out and if you feel that you want to take some time off, then I would say that taking a drop is not the right time for you because there are 1.6 million people attempting the exam every year. Resting is not for beginners over here. Now a lot of you must be thinking like, okay, boy, I'm co. What coaching join? Should I join? Coaching join? Not join? Should I do? What preparation should I do? What exam should I prepare for? And we'll be not to answer all these questions. We'll be breaking you guys down to three different sections. Right? Look, based on your last year's performance, if you're someone who's got more than 99 percentile, उसके लिए बात करते हैं पहले. If you're someone who got more than 99 percentile in JE means last year, or you got rank of less than 10,000 in JE advance, then it probably means that you got into a pretty decent college like an NIT or even a Bits Pilani. But you really want to get only into IITs now. You want to get to top IITs and top branches only, and that's the only thing that's going to make you happy. And if you're someone like that, then I think that joining coaching is important, but it's not an absolute necessity. It's most probable that you've already gone to a coaching before. You have the coaching modules. You have your own tests that you've taken before. You can go through them and work on them again. And it's definitely advisable to go to a coaching because, like, you'll have a great atmosphere. You'll have teachers teaching you again. But what's most important for you right now is to just focus on problem solving and taking up tests, a lot of tests, in a very very short amount of time, right? And try to complete at least one chapter in, in less than one week, which includes revising the concepts and practicing the questions uh, for physics, chemistry, and maths as well. And make sure to take up full syllabus test series and part time test series in the beginning itself, so that you get an advantage over most of the people who will be writing. JE and you'll be preparing for JE in 2025. And apart from that, make sure to have a strict timetable of what you're going to do when, especially if you're not going to a coaching. Because if you don't have the right discipline, you'll just get carried away. And there's a chance that your performance in the last year is going to be better than your performance in the current year that you're going to write. So make sure to have a strict discipline and have a strict regime. If you are someone who got between 95 percentile and 99 percentile, then what should you actually do, right? In this case, most of the people who do in that category of people, like they might have studied the concepts decently well, but then the problem-solving ability is not up to the mark, and they've not practiced an entire lot of questions that they should have practiced. And in that case, I would suggest this go to a coaching. In that way, if you go to a coaching, they will make sure to teach you the concepts again. They will give you modules to practice. They will give you coaching material, and at the same time, they will make sure that you know, you have the right atmosphere to grow and learn as well. But if you feel that You can study without a coaching, and you will depend on online resources like YouTube and all. Then I think do follow certain channels like Edunity, which they offer very very good lessons, and they offer very great in depth topics in physics, which really help a lot of people. And at the same time, on academy chemistry is also pretty good, especially if you're looking at chemistry. And there's a YouTube channel called Mathematically Inclined by Neha Agarwal. So she was also like very good at teaching, and who she was very passionate about teaching as well. But at the same time. 
make sure to solve as many test series as much as possible and make sure to solve as many chapter wise tests as possible as well because don't just simply think that i'm going to read something i'm going to do my coaching modules and sheets and that's going to be enough no you need to solve as many time tests as much as possible starting now because only when you practice time tests you'll be tuned to be performing in an examination environment and unless you tune to that kind of environment your scores will not improve at all and if you are someone who got less than 95 percentile in the last attempt then i would say definitely do enroll for a coaching and make sure to practice as hard as you can because you have very very less amount of time which is closer like six seven months at max before your first attempt of GE mains and you will not be competing with people who will be just droppers you'll be people competing with people who've been preparing for GE since the last three four years and at least minimum of two years and so make sure to put your blood sweat and tears into your preparation so that you can push it to the next level possible and there is no way around it and if you feel that you can work your way through without going into a coaching then you need to have an extreme amount of discipline and i would say that even if you're going you're not going for a physical coaching then at least do enroll for something like a physics wall or any other online coaching which offers you great supplement material and they offer you great quality of material in terms of content as well right and do check out the beside busted channel because like we are slowly starting to upload a lot of informative stuff in an engaging way so that people with low attention spans they can actually learn something and they can actually implement something that actual paper as well right and most importantly many people they ask me like is it a good idea to take a partial drop which means that if we'll actually go and join the college in the first place and then along with the college preparation we'll actually prepare for something like je or bitsat on the side and to be honest it is not a bad idea because i've seen many people who have actually done it a friend of mine she i was studying in iit calicut and she took a partial drop and then she went to iit indore and another friend of mine he was studying in iit goa and then he went and joined iit goa and there are some several people who do these kind of things but it requires immense dedication and focus because college is a place where you get a lot of independence along with your other academic stuff that you'll be doing you'll have a lot of fun you'll make you'll meet a lot of new friends you will get a lot of new exposure as well and if you feel that you can study along with that kind of pressure and like along with that kind of a, a situation where you constantly get distracted then go for it right but it's not for everybody and most of the time you will just end up disappointing both your college academics and your actual exam preparation which is required for je and bitsat so do think about it and see what kind of strategy will be most useful for you if you're taking a partial drop online resources will be very useful for you because many of the colleges they have a minimum attendance criteria at least 75 percent you need to be present in the class physically for most parts and in those cases it just kind kind of gets very very difficult for people to proceed forward right or as much so so yeah like all my friends have left and they are all in college i'm just studying here and everyone has their own time hota hai and sometimes taking a step back is actually the right decision it'll help you push yourself two steps forward right and whatever experience that you gain in your drop your your hustle and your struggle that will definitely help you in the long run as well and i having seen many people in college taking a drop year and getting great heights and getting great branches at great colleges i can definitely vouch for it saying that if you really put your heart and soul into it you will not be disappointed and that's it from my side guys until then keep hustling keep working hard we have started a community for students who are preparing for bitsad and je in 2025 so make sure to check it out and make sure to join if you're someone who's interested in that i'll see you in the community i'll see you bye bye go go go